Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our beaver colony. We're back from the, the future. future. And just taking a look at what will eventually become the awesome forest that you saw. We have not figured out where to put the tapper shacks. Uh, don't know. Don't really have to do it right now. So, on today's episode, we're gonna deal with this area finally. I mean, it took took a bit of time, because we were... Little, little distracted, but here we go. Here we go, but first, but first, it's montage time. And that's the end of the wet season. And we have a 58 day drought. Oh, 58 days, 58 days. I noticed a minor issue during the uh, the filming of that. So we're gonna, we're gonna blow this down right here. And I'm gonna put two more dams because it seemed like it was just very slightly flooding right over here. So I think the water was smashing into it and kind of pushing its way in that direction and kind of, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if the if the water comes out and then goes back in. Do we waste water? I don't know, but I don't want to risk it or mess with it or anything. So we're gonna blow this down, put some more dams there, and then it literally won't be a problem. It also won't affect our systems at all. Also, I had a very positive response to the Octoc. The Octoc is in session, and Octoc was pointing out, pointing out right here. Right here we got we got some extra extra roads for no reason. Roads, roads to nowhere. nowhere. <laughs> so we, we give her the dose. We go over uh oh. Octoc. Octoc. You failed me. You fit what is that? What is that, Octoc? What is that? What? Who what? Failure. Failure, Octoc. Gotta get it together, Octoc. <laughs> Can't do anything about it, because I don't think we're a full level below the top yet. So I'm gonna wait. We're gonna come back to it. We're gonna come back to it. Or alternatively, I'm gonna leave it. Because you guys failed me. And so you deserve to be tormented by it. Just keep zooming into it. It's really, really, really show you. Yeah, that's right. Feel the pain. Feel the pain. You're just gonna stick two dams there and that's it. And that's gonna resolve any sort of floody pressure type thing that could possibly be going on over here. Easy fix. Easy fix. That does look kind of cool right now though. Just a, just a quick minor inty weenty chat and with Moro. During the time lapse, the montage. I know, I know, I know you guys, I know you guys saw this flood, right? Cause, cause that's how you know it's full. <laughs> I'm aware that we don't have to make it flood. 
Okay, I could stop it a little early and it'll be a little low, but because we have water funneling itself down from the water dumps in our Lido area, it refills little by little and it's really not a big deal. However, I know you guys like watching it flood, so I do it for you guys. I do it for you. <laughs> I did also ask you guys for some assistance, and, uh, I mean, I don't know. You do your best. You do your best of, uh, where to put the tapper shacks. And honestly, I mean, your answers are basically the same as my thoughts was, uh, there's nowhere to put them. There's, <laughs> uh, which is true. It kind of sucks. So, before everything grows out and it's even more of a mess, I was thinking of just putting them, like, in the bottom of, like, the circle, I guess. Because they can't really go anywhere else. They can't go up here anywhere because the road doesn't reach there. So I'm going to do that now. It's, it's a little bit of a bummer, I guess, just because it looks so tidy and nice right now. But that's just what's going to have to happen. So if they go like right here, then we need an access like that. I guess we can cancel the other one. We can actually cancel all of the... There you go. Clear the planting area. That looks better. <laughs> uh, okay, so this one's going to go there and the next one's going to go like right next to it. And so like that. I don't know. That's the best I got. It's either that or putting them like... I don't even know. They don't fit anywhere else. They're just... They're, that's just where they're gonna have to go. Hopefully it doesn't look... Ruin the look of it too bad. Like, I don't know. I think it'll be okay. They gotta go somewhere. We can't just leave this area. I mean, we could, but then we'd still need Tapper Shack somewhere. So it's like... I don't know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so we're gonna take a little break. A little break so I can, uh... Have a little chat. Chat with you guys. This is like the like a third third chat time with Moro time. <laughs> maybe this is maybe this is stretch chat. Stretch chat with Moro. It's been brought up a couple of times that you guys a few of you have suggested something and I don't know. I guess I just kinda wanted to address that suggestion. Because it's a good one, and even though I'm not really using it and I've thought about using it, it is something that maybe you guys would like to know about. In case you don't. <laughs> so let's pretend that this thing is an aqueduct with the front. The, the road is a wall, but it's like cut out. It's like a window, a window into the aqueduct, let's say. Okay. So that's the window. Pretend there's a wall there. So basically a, a few, I mean, we all, we all mostly know about the water dump thing, right? Like if you do like a thing like that and you put a water dump here and then that fills the little water dump, and then that creates a massive ring of green land, okay? That's a thing. That's a thing that happens that people do, and that and that's fine. I personally, I've addressed this a couple of times, but it's just I'm not a fan. To me, it just doesn't feel good. <laughs> it doesn't feel like, you know, like within the spirit of the game. It is like, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's circumventing the the mechanic of the water. And it's just like, I don't like it. I guess. I'm fine with other people using it. I'm not like, eh, you suck. I can't believe you did that. Like, whatever. You know, play how you want to play. If that makes you happy. It just, it doesn't, it doesn't spark joy for me. You know, <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't do it. It just, within the game, the way the water functions and everything else, it just, that to me feels, it just doesn't feel great. So that is why I don't do those. And I mostly do like aqueducts and, you know, like, long like irrigation channels because that just i don't know that feels like how it should be working that's all that's all we're getting getting a little off topic the point is a few of you have brought up a way to save water within our aqueducts and it's actually a pretty good idea i appreciate that the spirit of invention that you guys are uh, bringing forth so i wanted to just showcase it in case some of you wanted to use it okay i'm undecided as to how i feel about it and so that is why I haven't done it yet, because it's it's kind of like an in-between between doing an actual like long aqueduct or irrigation thing versus and, and doing like a water dump. The water dump, I definitely just don't, you know, don't feel great about. But this other method, which we'll do real quick. So this is the other thing that you could do. And uh, I don't know. I mean, it's not really a water dump, I guess, but it also isn't entirely like, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. But the point is that you'd still have the aqueduct like you do now, but instead of it going all the way to the bottom, you just have these like little deep channels throughout 
that the water goes into and then basically you end up saving you know like an enormous amount of water to evaporation because you don't you don't have to have these middle ones filled in and because of the radius of how like how the water acts against the ground this would actually provide basically the exact same greenery that the aqueduct does so you still get kind of like uh it's still an aqueduct but you know we're not we're not wasting water necessarily so you kind of get sort of the best of both worlds i just i don't know I, I like having the aqueducts i like having the water i like having it go all the way through and like that's that's what we have to manage without trying to like nitpick at like these tiny ways of saving water I, and I, i'm not i'm not even sure you could probably get away with even even wider gaps like this is pretty wide but each of these would still like you could probably go even even more. So I don't know. So if you want, if you want, like, if you don't want to do water dumps, you know, and they, if those feel a little lame, you still want to do aqueducts. But at the same time, like, you don't want to waste all that insane amount of water. You could do this. You could do this. And I don't know. And it's okay. It's okay. I'm not sure I'm going to be doing it. Probably. I think we're just sticking to what we're doing and rolling with it. But I did want, I did want to show it off because it has been brought up. I usually get like, you know, one or two comments coming up with this idea and addressing it and being like oh you know it'd be cool like this might be a great way and you're right like it is every every single one of you that has this idea like you're you're thinking you're thinking good it's good thinking it's good thinking because it's true because it's great it is a good idea it is a good way to handle losing less water while still having the aqueduct and everything else feel free to take it and run with it i'm undecided i'm undecided so i'm not i'm not sure i'm not sure i'm gonna be doing it maybe i will maybe at some point i don't know but probably not i hope you enjoyed our little chat <laughs> all right so this is all cleared away and now we can do the little thing i guess we should still i'm still gonna elevate him like that i don't know i mean it's gonna be hard to tell if that's gonna look good or not i think i i don't know i think it looks okay it's as good as we're gonna get realistically i mean i don't really know where else I, we would put them because I don't think the road reaches all the way over here. Uh, actually, I I know it doesn't. Because it barely reached over here, and this is one step further. So this is this is about as far as we can push them anyway. So I don't know. I mean, that's that's what we got. <laughs> I don't know. There's nothing else to say about it. Hopefully, it looks nice once everything's grown out. We do also have to address this area because it's got to go. So crispy bacon, you're gonna have to get a new job somewhere else. Goodbye. Okay. Oh, he's a hauler. He became a hauler. <laughs> uh, you're gonna have to work for a living now instead of sitting around all day. And then... I mean, I guess we gotta just cut it, cut it down. I don't... We don't, probably don't want to waste it all, so... Alright. Uh, so we're gonna cut that down and... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, suggestions? What should we do over here? I'm not sure we have enough room or enough road to do another like expansion to the tree farm because i think it ends like over here somewhere so i don't think it can make it all the way like to to right here because that's where it would need to be yeah i mean it's already pretty red here so for it to go another like i don't even know 20 steps 10 steps 15 steps i don't think it's gonna make it so i don't know suggestions <laughs> what should this area be i don't know i'm trying i'm trying to think I'm just, I'm just, I'm staring and I'm trying to think, I'm trying to, trying to process, trying to, trying to get some inspiration, but I got, I got nothing. I guess it could be like a tree camp area or something, but I mean, at some point we'll figure it out. Maybe once, maybe once it's all cut down, we'll have a better idea.
All right, so that's all cleaned up and looking good. Now we can actually do stuff. Well, first we gotta clear this up, I guess. All right, we're gonna clear that up. We're gonna rebuild the platforms and we're gonna do the pumps back. Are we gonna need those platforms again at some point? I don't know, maybe. All right, now that we have this all cleared out and set up, the question is, what do, what do we do? What do we, <laughs> where, how, when? Uh, so the road is here, right? And it reaches to there. Cause I was originally thinking we could put them, put like the lumberjacks and stuff on the outside and that might be kind of cool, but that would kind of be pushing it. So I think we're gonna do a thing. So here's the thing. Uh, we have two water dumps over here. We definitely don't- who- who's hanging out over here? What is that? Who that? I can't- You're gone. You're gone! King Triton! King Triton's born again! <laughs> oh man, there's a lot of King Tritons. That, that family is, uh, you know, pumping out a lot of children. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Uh, so we have two water dumps and we don't- we don't need them. Uh, we only use one. I just put them here for symmetry, basically. And this path just happens to be right in the right spot. Right? Right. So, uh-oh, uh-oh, it's almost nighttime. Quick, quick. We're gonna get rid of that one. We're gonna turn this one on. And we're just gonna put some stairs over here. Or actually, I guess we could have just blown a hole over here and left it. Huh. I mean, that is a thing we could do. Cause that does look weird right now, huh? All right, let's do that. I'm changing my mind, shockingly. We're gonna blow that down, we're gonna put the other water dump back, and the stairs are gonna go right there. I am also a little bit upset, by the way. I should have thought of this. Uh, I didn't. It's okay. I'll survive. But we should have left this as, as like, stone here. Like, going all the way down to make it more, uh, cool looking, because then it would be inside the mountain. But, but the way, the way I'm negotiating that in my own brain is that if that was the case, it would actually have an effect on the greenery and how far it spread. So removing it makes more sense. That's that's my excuse for not uh, going back and reloading the like a old save and redoing everything all over again. Because <laughs> that would be the only way to do it. Plus, also you know like that's you know that's lame. We didn't think about it. We didn't do it. So we got to move forward. There's no take backsies. The Moro logo is coming in pretty good. Almost. We're almost there. I think these guys look all right down here. Especially once once the rest of these trees go grow in, I think it'll be okay. And I was, uh, I just, uh, I don't know, I was a little shocked. I was a little shocked because basically, <laughs> basically, not a single person predicted that I was going to do logo. You guys all thought, we're like, oh, maybe he'll do like some sort of pattern or something. Uh, but I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I for sure, like 100% thought everyone's going to be like, oh, I totally knew that. I figured it out. I figured out you're going to do logo. I knew you were going to do logo. <laughs> <laughs> but nobody did. Nobody did. So, uh, I don't know. I feel, I feel pretty, pretty proud of myself that I can still surprise you guys. That I still got a few cards up my sleeve. Yeah, a little, some, some tricks in my bag. Some, uh, I don't know. I don't have any other, <laughs> any other analogies. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna blow that out and we're gonna put stairs there. And now we have, we just saved like four steps, I think. So we should be able to go four steps further over here. So that's pretty cool. How does that look? Are we happy? I think I like it. I think I th yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's too late now, but I think I like it. I think it's fine. And then this awkward like whole thing doesn't even even matter anymore, because then this is this is very direct access to this area. So I was just randomly thinking, and looking, and uh, I don't know. I mean. <laughs> this could be a thing. I don't really know what we would put over here for this to be a thing, but this could be a thing. I'm not sure if the path would go all the way to here is the only problem. It might. I think it would. I think it would cover this whole thing. I just... I don't know. We could put, like, engines up here. This could be, like, a power area for, like, an amusement park that we could put up here or something. I mean, that would be a lot of power engines. We, don't, we wouldn't need that many. Uh, it could also be water storage. Stick it back here. Although, we kind of want to do that in the main area. So, I don't know. I don't know if that would be worth it. We have enough metal. We have just barely... I mean, we have enough metal to do this. So, I don't know. So, we could have some, uh, some, some cave maples. <laughs> and, uh, and have this back there. I just, I don't... 
I don't know. What would we want back there that makes sense? So we, we don't have to do it right now. But you guys can let me know. Question of the day. Should I do this? Should I put that back there and do something with it? Or should we save the metal for, you know, doing other things? I don't know. Something to think about. All right. Stairs are built. And that's where we can reach. So that probably means we can reach all the way over here. Like if I do a road like going there, like that probably reaches. Yeah. So we could easily have. Okay. I'm not even sure what that would look like. I guess we could just stick it here to maximize, like, coverage? I don't know. I mean, I don't really know. Is it something like that? Does that make sense? The Forester, I mean, they can reach all the way across. So that's not really a problem. It's too bad this, uh, this land isn't one level lower. I'm not going to blow it down just for that. But if it was one level lower, we could do a platform. And then bridge across over here. And then just do like steps down. That would look kind of cool maybe. Because you need you need three three levels of clearance for uh for the trees to grow. What do we think? Do we like that? Is that fine? I mean I think it looks okay. It all reaches. Assuming the paths all make it there. I'm not sure if they do. It's not gonna show me. Alright, let's uh let's build it out and see if that reaches. If it does, then I don't know, then we're fine. Cause these these reach all the way around and it's not like an issue at all. I wanted to do a quick status update. Status update, status check. The middle tank is dry. It just dried out. We just pumped it out. We're at just under 54,000 water with 40 days to go. This is about the limit of our water storage. I think we cap out around 54,000. So basically the middle, the middle has just been getting pumped and used rather than pumped and stored. So I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. We, I mean, 40 days is a lot. And, I don't know, we're probably going to end up finishing the drought at, like, 30,000 water. Maybe a little less? No, I don't think it's going to be less. Probably, like, 30-something. 30 30-something 30 thousand. So, definitely, definitely a deficit for 58 day. I'm not going to go crazy and, like, turn off the water farm or the lighthouse or anything. Not yet. We'll see. If, if the next drought we get is, like, 55-plus days also, we might actually have to do that. Uh, so that's something to think about we've been kind of lucky getting 30s and 40s so uh this might be <laughs> this might be where our luck turns and uh goes south on us <laughs> i put the planting area back because it looked better with the with the darkness underneath otherwise otherwise you just see the green ground i don't know whatever but only only underneath the pines the maples the maples stay green so it's like a, it's even more more obvious stand out all right, so these are all connected. So I, I mean, we're just gonna plant it. I don't know. There's nothing else to uh to to to, to really 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 discuss about it. I think we're gonna plant as much as we can over here. It's basically all that. I think that might be plantable. Maybe that. I mean, we'll find out. That's a job well done right there. Is what that is. <laughs> I mean, hello. <laughs> uh, I guess I should put another forester to make this go faster. All right, we're going to stick two more right there temporarily until they plant the whole field. Because otherwise, it's, it, one guy, it just it takes forever for him to do that. And, uh, yeah, man. This is, uh, this, that's it. That's it. That's a, that is, that's a solid field right there. That is, that's a good chunk. I guess that's about, I mean, it's not quite half because it is wider. Maybe it is half. Maybe it's half as much as this. So maybe we don't need four, uh, four lumberjacks. That might be overkill. We'll just put it on lowest priority. So <laughs> they'll still be here without the stupid red icon on top, but nobody will ever work it. So it's just it's just for looks. <laughs> and and I know some of you guys are eager, but it's not gonna happen. I'm not paying out on more drinks for no reason. So I'm marking this to cut. <laughs> uh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Sorry, sorry, fellas. No drinks for you. No drinks. <laughs> Not really sure why that's still marked. I guess we were just cutting that away. Okay. So I was thinking of what to do with this area. I know I kind of I kind of brought it up and asked you guys what what you might think we should do. But I was also thinking. I mean, at some point I want to do kind of like a fancy living home situation for for for, for our beeves. And this area is green, so that would actually be very 
useful, <laughs> I guess, because of that. Because we could definitely do like trees and stuff and plants to decorate their homes. So maybe we do like a little, little, little condominium living situation over here with like fences and decorative stuff. It wouldn't do, it wouldn't be all the housing because I don't think there's enough room, but we could do that. That could be a thing. I don't know. Just thinking, just brainstorming. It's brainstorming with Moro. <laughs> I mean, other, I mean, otherwise this area could actually be, like, productive for something. I'm just not sure about, like, the path range. I'm not, I, I don't remember where it ends. Oh, okay. Scratch that idea. We can't do that. Because it doesn't, it doesn't reach anywhere past over here. Never mind. So this area can only ever be, I guess, like a farm. Or more trees for some reason. Well, that was disappointing, huh? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know. Never mind. I thought that was going to be a cool idea, but it's not because it doesn't work. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> hey, it's all planted. Nice. You guys can go back to doing other things and we can plant the rest of these maples. Hey, yay. Come on, soul my deep. Let's do it. Let's go. Get to it. <laughs> Hey, it's fully grown in and looks great. I got I got no problem with the tapper shacks. The tapper shacks are in perfect position. Well, I don't know if they're perfect, but they're pretty good. I got I got I got no problem with that. It doesn't really take away from it. It's possible maybe I could do another row of pines over here to go like around them. It wouldn't be symmetrical, but I don't know. I mean, for now, I I think it looks fine. Nice. I'm I'm very happy with this area. <laughs> I think this is cool. This came out this came out real nice. So quick update on the water farm situation. Uh we have 456 batter dock in this warehouse. Uh hello. <laughs> that means we are net positive on spatter dock. Changing those two lines of growth complete compl like just it was perfect. It's perfect. It's piling up now. So even even if even if at some point we have to turn off the water farm, we would still have like a whole backup thing of spatter dock. It's great. Just figured I'd let you guys know. The only real next step to, that we can take here is to start slowly shrinking the water farm, like row by row, to see like just how much we actually need. Like, if we want to get, like, really granular with this, we could we could start just removing, removing rows, little by little, and seeing what keeps us positive. I mean, that, that seems like a lot. I don't know if I'm going to do that, but, but it's there. <laughs> and so there we go. We got another supply of timber coming up. And that gives us that gives us a lot of headroom for activities. I mean, I'm looking looking forward to it. Looking forward. That means we can we can build as many engines as we want at this point because we got we got lumber production up the wazoo right now. <laughs> so the next the next real task in order to be in order to have room to build out like an amusement park and have room for all that and have like a little forest area with an observatory, maybe camp area, all of that requires that we move all these water tanks these temporary tanks i think it's about time that we start dealing with them and that's gonna be really difficult because i think we're gonna do the platforming thing with the tanks hidden underneath and that is just gonna i mean that's gonna be a lot of work <laughs> but i think it's too cool an idea to not do it so i think that's where that's that's next plan next plan is to start working on that let me know your thoughts i love you guys I'm Moro, like the video, subscribe if you're not, and I'll catch you guys next time.